Lee. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. Just plucking a few eyebrows. Make it rather long. Oh well. I can't speak. Look at that. Yes, you want to get a pair of tweezers on those, or I'll do it for you. <laughs> Calls you ten seconds. Thank you of very much. Yeah. These are not for seen, public consumption. Seen no, goodness me. I think that's enough. This is the life. I come on holiday, and mother does my ironing for me. And your washing up. Private tapes. Yeah. 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 We may go out today. We not. We we don't really know, do we? No, we, no we haven't made our minds up, but uh, if we do, we might. we'll enjoy the sunshine. It's really like spring out there. What made their minds up about? Nothing yet. But he still needs to go to the bathroom. He needs to have his breakfast quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's serious stuff. Yeah. And what's the time? It's five to ten. I think that's time to cut. And what a scrappy introduction to a video this is going to be. I think that's time to cut and run. Go. Cut and run? Yeah, go. Excellent. Disappear. Because I made some water cups and forgot, and I put the same amount of coffee in. Oh. oh, here he is. And yeah. there he is. He's in a moody now. Why oh, is he in a moody? No, 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 oh, that doesn't do moodies anymore. I'm in a moody. Hey? I'm in a moody, Mum said so. Oh. Who's his who's? Dunno. I'd rather not say in case I upset you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, well, we weren't expecting that, were we? <laughs> They're coming. They're coming closer. Oh, they're here. I'm, I am emerging. Right. Where's himself? <laughs> right. Cut. Is it your Wellbridge? Your Wellbridge, yeah. Well. yeah. That's it's taking the A14 to Felixstowe. Yeah. Past yes. Ipswich. Yeah. A big river, isn't it? Over all 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 it's a very big river. But then boats go right up to Ipswich, so... Yeah. Well, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Well, I think it's very impressive. Very impressive. We were just standing here and we saw a lorry, one overtaking another. I said, it's an awful job to realise that that is four carriageways. It is huge. Yeah. Absolutely whacking. I'm watching them, they're like little toys going over there almost, yeah. aren't they? Matchbox models. Yeah. And that little sailing boat yeah, little, down there is yeah. nothing compared to that. No, no. Father was saying that as well. He likes the way they've built it with two piers instead of one in the middle and the road overhanging, looking as if it's oh, yeah. overbalanced. That looks safe to me. Every couple of years it has to be one way traffic on it. So they can do While they maintain and... it, you know. Yeah. Blow that for oh a lot. God, it's, yeah. a, it's, the main, it's the bridge again. Yeah. And it goes on for, you know, some months. It don't, it's not a quick job. No, I don't imagine it is. So where are we then? We are at Shopley Point. Shopley Point? Yes. There's a marina here. Yeah, down a off, large marina. Down off the A14. And uh, we have come down to have a look at the opposite side of Felixstowe Dock. Yes. From the seaside. Because we've been to Felixstowe. Yeah. And we've been round looking at Langard Fort, but yeah. we've never looked at it from this side. No. Well, we have, but you haven't. No. Second time we've been here, and this is a much better day. Yeah. Last Lovely, time we it? came, it rained. We were uh -huh. brought here, and it was drizzly and very it cold was wind. Horrible. So we're looking at Old Mayor's line over there. Yeah. So when you came down. Yeah, we came down the other side. In the, the other coach, side of there, in the coach, down all down there, the way straight and down there. All the way down the line there. To the other end. To the other end. Two kilometres. Two kilometres. Two yeah. It's a long way down there, you know. It's a long way down there. Those cranes look big enough from here, but by God, when you get near them. Yeah. Ooh. I imagine. And that ship, I might be rough working at it. I'll make it 300 metres long. 900 feet, roughly speaking. Yeah. And over there in the Arties is Arich. Impressive. Impressive, yeah. 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 Oh, the sun's gone in, hasn't it? Ah, just for a second. Yeah, it's only behind. It'll be back. back. Yeah. But we say if you, you obviously can walk right the way round and out there somewhere. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll tell you what I was thinking. I was just thinking that historic moment should be recorded on camera. <laughs> what? Which he, the one that you just said to me, which was... 
it stopped me complaining. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you did, and that was because your wristwatch which is irritating your wrist. My mother, mother decided that. to put it over the there. Well done, mother. It stopped it pulling my hairs now. <laughs> yes. I knew there was a good reason for wearing these bandages. <laughs> there is Landguard Fort. You could catch a ferry boat from Harwich, you can, yeah. to, to Hol Hook of Holland and that. Amazing, isn't it? Really? Here's a come to get a boat from Holland, isn't it? Some seaways, isn't it? DTS. That chap told us that it's full of containers inside. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, yeah. under Tom. Yeah. Well, there probably will be in the summer. No cup of tea. There's one on the beach, on the grass, so on the grass in the so summer. Is. We stopped there but, last time. That's the I mean, there doesn't get. appear to be any small cafes that are shut up for the winter. That'd be a bit blowy, that'd be. So it's not open for us then? No. Didn't right. expect it to be open for us. No. No, you're right. No. Mummy says we went in there last time we came. Exit's right walking. Each end of it, well, uh, what do you think of it then? Not a lot. <laughs> Would you like a nice word or a naughty word? I see. I'll okay. say a nice word. Go on, then. Not much. Right. Two words. That's sorry. Two words. Yeah. Not much. Can't count either. Oh, it's all worn away from that bit on the right. Look. Yeah. On the left, if you have a look, the front is a bit of cement and it's yeah. worn away behind it. Possibly. There might have been some sort of castle down here somewhere. Quite possibly. Nothing now shows There's with a it. Pub there. Yeah, the Alma Inn. Yeah. Whether that's a restaurant or something down the end there. There was an Alma pub in uh, Reading. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I don't end well. <laughs> well, that's the Electric Palace. Three store reopened by Harwich Electric Palace Trust. 29th November 1981. Oh. Yeah. Look at that, and wishing one shoe on that side and six months the other. <laughs> That's beautiful. Membership cards are available for one calendar year or part thereof. Yes. So you have to belong to it to come into it. Yes. Yeah. Stop whipping about. Oh, sorry, I'm not sure if you want me a picture on I'm you're in, oh, you're in the picture. Just don't move in. Just don't tread that behind you. Don't oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just saying, Adrian. What do you think of Harwich? Yes. Yeah, so, all right. I like the back of I'll your ask head. him later. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of Harwich? It's like, I think a mist descended upon me, and when I leave, it will lift. It's a shame. It's something and nothing. Probably yeah. nice for the people who live here. Shame there isn't anything done. No. It, it came round the long way. Yeah. It is a long way round. Very long way. route round the promontory, and we can see over there. Very, very yeah. long. Yeah. We can see. Felix so docks, which we talked about when we were back in um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. whatever it Shotley. was, where we had yeah. Chotley, that's the one, yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. It took us a good hour to get half a mile across the water, basically. Yeah, yeah, not very far. You feel almost as if you could touch it across there, don't you? Well, there is a ferry, 10-minute yeah. yeah. ferry ride. Yeah. yeah, it would have been quite probably a nice town in, in those days. Oh, but got something like this over here, look. Yeah. Look yeah. at it, yeah. Yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. That see, new building which is there. built in front of between the sea and these buildings here. Yeah. And that's between it totally ruins it. That if it was sympathetically built, it was made, it made all the And then you get that. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering where it's got well, the new door. Give me a picture, something yeah. reverse oh, now. For God's sake. You're right. What <laughs> no. are you saying far to oh, you I, was only, I, was a, I was only saying yes. I wondered if that was a communal front door to two big houses. Could have been, couldn't it? Yeah. It probably wasn't yeah. there. Yeah. It's only got one number, yeah. So it might not be. Ooh. But there are some really nice places and some really tatty places. Well, goodbye, Harridge. It was nice knowing oh, you. I yes. certainly don't want to come yeah. back. Yeah. No. no, I certainly it's not don't. Something. So there's only one thing to say to that. Here I am on the Thursday, and we were all going to go out to Norwich today. But we can't because Dad's not well. So I've swapped the cars over, so I'm going to be going out on my own, because old fella's not very well. Let's go and have a look at him. Afternoon, Adrian. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Where are you off to? Well, out there somewhere. I'm not yeah. going to waste this nice day. Mum could come with you if she wanted to. 
Yeah, what are you going to do? Just lay here and be quiet, I think. Yes. He's not been a well man. He's been heave-hoeing up Rick Rice's many times today. He looks a bit better now, but you did look so white. The last before. time you were just white yeah. as a sheet. And I've just had the knowing that it's coming. Yeah. Is it windy? He's building up for a fart. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good, would it? No, no, probably not. No. That could have explosive qualities. Yes, I could end up hanging on that light up there. And take care and have a good time, eh? Yeah. Boysy bye. bye. Oh, yeah. How to ruin a good shot. Oh, yeah. If you picked them out of my bag, hey? folks, this is my life being disseminated in yeah, front of you. These are clean. I think I put them in there the other day. Oh, right, in that case, that's fine then. Yeah. We'll put them away then. I've got three pairs here. And good, three good, shirts. good. Thank you. Anything else? No. Bye. Right. Thank you. She said, prepare to turn left soon. Okay. Whatever. Turn left after 400 yards, then take the next right turn immediately. Whatever. I have a soft spot for Southwold. This little town on the East Anglian coast takes me back to my childhood when things seemed less complicated, people rushed about less, there was fewer cars on the road, and the list just goes on. Buildings are largely unchanged and the shops that are here abide with strict controls. I started off near the pier where there's a model boat pond used for regattas held since late Victorian times. The largest one takes place at the end of the summer season and some of the model boats entered are up to 80 years old and include replicas of beach yawls. Southwold was mentioned in the Doomsday Book as a fishing port. Once a capricious river Blythe withdrew from Dunwich in 1328, trade ramped up to Southwold, where a century and a half later, Henry VII granted the town its charter. Over the following centuries, however, an ever-shifting shingle bar built up across the harbour mouth, preventing Southwold from becoming a major early modern port. The pier was built in 1900. Being 810 feet long, it was long enough to accommodate the Bell steamers which carried troopers along the coast at that time. In World War II it was weakened by two breaches and in 1955 a large section was destroyed by a gale. The pier you see today was completely rebuilt and restored in 2001 and is about 200 feet shorter. Many English seaside piers are in decline, but Southwold Pier is enjoying renewed popularity, helped by a collection of modern coin-operated novelty machines made by Tim Hunkin, and the occasional berth of paddle steamers such as P.S. Waverley and the M.V. Balmoral. Commissioned in 1890, Southwold Lighthouse replaced three local lighthouses that were under serious threat from coastal erosion. It suffered a fire in its original oil-fired lamp just six days after being commissioned, but it managed to survive. It was automated and electrified back in 1938. George and Ernest Adnams purchased the Sol Bay Brewery in 1872 and today Adnams is the town's largest employer. Modernisation and expansion has brought a new energy efficient brewery, a distillery and a new distribution centre on the outskirts of town. Gun Hill is just above the beach and has six 18 pounder cannon that commemorate the Battle of Sol Bay. This was fought in 1672 between English and French fleets on one side and the Dutch fleet on the other. The battle was bloody but indecisive and many bodies were washed ashore. During World War I it was widely thought that the presence of these cannon were one reason why this part of the coast was bombarded by the German fleet who probably believed this to be a fortified coast.
St Edmund's Church, whose original structure dates from the 12th century, was damaged by a fire in 1659 which devastated most of the town. The fire also created a number of open spaces within the town which were never rebuilt. Well, I've had quite a good walk around. A bit shy of the old good stretch of the legs as John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara would have put it in the quiet van, but uh, I reckon I've done a couple of miles, two or three miles today. Gone round the northern bit from the pier, up the beach a bit and back, and then round the town, including out onto the green there. Oh, I also found the Adnan store, the country kitchen, whatever they call it, shop for you beefy in there. They do all the beers, wine importers, all sorts of kitchen utensils and kitchenware and pottery, porcelain stuff and all sorts of Bristol China. Bristol China was one, yeah. What I could have got for your beef, and I didn't, was the old eight pint keg, mini keg of beer. I didn't do that. The broadside and the best bit were there by the door. You'll see it in the shot I've taken for you. So, um, as it is, you'll just have to put up with uh, your tongue hanging out for a bit longer, mate. What do you reckon? So, until you come back here again and have another pint or eight or whatever it is, the, the famous falling over water that is Adnams, then you'll just have to put up with me telling you about it. <laughs> That's all from me, signing off from Southwold. And what a beautiful day I've had. Morning to you. Hello. Hello. This is just to say good morning. Went very well yesterday. Oh, that's oh it. very sorry. I was just saying good morning and that's good it. Morning. Yeah. He's not been well. He doesn't feel very bright this morning, but he'll feel better when he's had some yeah. food and he's had a wash and shave and that's only been a bit better. That's something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. He was growing a beard. Mm -hmm. Now that might that shows Oops. that he really didn't feel well yesterday. Yeah. Because he didn't even have a shave. So you're gonna feel better when you come down and see me, are you? Oh yeah. Yeah. Should right, do, then. should do. You should do. <laughs> Ta-ra. Bye bye.